Hello <laughs> and welcome to the Nanny Samurai Plus One video podcast, episode 45. I am your host, Stephanie, also known as the Knitting Samurai. It is Thursday, February 21. That was Macaman sitting over my shoulder. Linus the cat is sitting over here. And this is my cup of energy. <laughs> I don't typically record after work, but I uh, convinced the boys to go out to the grocery store and I ran home from work as fast as I could to sit down and record for you because I'm so excited to share some a few things with you. Um, the sun is setting outside and I closed the blinds but I'm thinking I didn't close them the right way because it's still in my eyes and I'm hoping I don't have lines on me. Oh, I probably do looking at my shadows. Well, I hope it doesn't drive you insane. <laughs> now it's it. Um, Linus is, yeah, right there. Okay, episode 45. <sighs> what a week, what a week, what a week! But you don't come here to talk about my work, but I'll just share quickly. Um, it was an insane week at work, and yesterday we all looked at each other at the end of the day and said, is it Saturday yet? Is this week from hell over yet? <laughs> so needless to say, well, I guess, yeah. Anyways, today we all were walking around like a bunch of zombies. So we had a really pretty stressful uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with tons of presentations and a lot of work leading up to them. And it's just sort of like that post-Christmas, oh now what feeling, except we're exhausted because we've been putting in long hours and long days. And Anyway, so I'm just like, okay, energy in a glass, take care of Roland. Oh, and Saturday, I wanted to record Saturday and Sunday, but I, um, Saturday at like 11 o'clock, right before nap time, I started to feel not so great, and by 1 o'clock I had a sore throat, and nose was running, and so the weekend was shot with just not feeling great. So first up, on the sock blockers <laughs> and on the needles are these lovely socks. Um, they are socks I was commissioned, coerced, recruited to knit for my grandmother is, was my plan for these, right? <clears throat> so you can see I'm on gusset increases on this one, and over here I've just turned the heel. After, I think, after I saw the full color repeat, so the, you know, the brown, the medium gray heather, the charcoal, the bright red color, and then back to the brown. Once I got to this bit of brown on the first sock, um, I just said, no, this is not, not something my grandmother's gonna like. They're a little too mannish for her taste. So uh, instead, I'm going to make them for one of our guy friends for Christmas. So he's very, very, very knit worthy. I think I knit him his first hat. Three or f no, no, would have been 2007. He still wears it, and he has two hats for me, two beanies. One's like a watch cap, you know, with a fold over. He alternates them. He wears them all the time. He loves his knitted goods and kind of unique clothing. <laughs> I can say that about him. So he will really appreciate the hand knit socks. So I'm gonna do these for him instead. And. Um, yeah, and I've done really well because we see them all the time, so I've done well not knitting them in front of them because typically socks are my, like, oh, socializing knitting. Um, <clears throat> and that's too wide, Linus. Keep your tail down. Where's your, where's your shame, man? Um, so these are just a two-by-two two rib, and the yarn is Croy Socks Patent Rag Shades in the gray-brown. And I'm knitting these on US size 1.5. I don't know what the translation is. Um, they're big. This is like my, my large end for sock needles. Because I find that the, um, the Croy sock yarn, here's the label. The Croy sock yarn is, I've knit several things with it. And I think it's more of a heavy fingering, almost a sport weight. Wow, the cats are super excited to see you guys. I hope Mac's face is clean. <laughs> um, yeah, so there, there are the boys, Mac and Linus, checking you guys out today. That's good because, you know, they're in the credits and they haven't really been pulling their fair share, really. Aw, uh, you're going to love the blank, love the sweater. Okay, so that's first of the needles. Um, what else? The pie shawl. I don't know if I've done anything, to be honest. I 
think I knit on it after I last recorded and then not again since. So this is um, the pie shawl, which I'm turning into a blanket. It's designed by Elizabeth Zimmerman. I am using Bernat Cotton Soft in the minty colorway. Um, this is part of my goals of using up some of the old yarn that I have, getting it off the knee, getting it out of the house. I'm using US size sevens. It's a great little pattern. It's um, so I'm on. I think one, two, three. I've completed three sets of increases, and I'm working in the V lace section. So I know it's really hard to see this type of circular knitting. Just a lacy, but not too lacy, uh, blanket. Can you hear him rumbling? Yeah, he's he is a happy boy. I don't. I think Steve was home today. I'm not sure if they were by themselves. He's acting like a lonely cat. So maybe. Also, I did run through the door, slam down my coffee, and start pulling things out of the closet so I could record. So I didn't really give the cats any attention. Um. Zip. Do you remember me talking about, now don't sit in front of the camera, Macoban. No, you can't sit there, sweetheart. Hey. Hey, Big Mac. Hey, Big Mac. Move it along. Okay. <laughs> um, from the Weekend Hats book by Cicely Glowick McDonald and Melissa LeBear. LeBear? LeBear. I'm supposed to say that. I really like the pebbled beanie, and that one is by, oh, how about I show you the picture side? That is by Elizabeth Parker. I thought it would be a great yarn for variegated yarn, and I had placed an order for um, knitting in color for the knit along that. Oh, 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 wait, I'm sorry. The, so I had placed an order with Knitting in Color for Not Drinking Merlot, which is the Knit Alone colorway with two, two, two tangled skeins. And when I ordered that, I also ordered the Ultra Light at Night uh, colorway. I think I showed this last week. I'm 99% sure I did. <coughs> and I talked about the Pebble Beanie and how I thought this would be great because it's just pops of brightness. Um, I thought that would be great for this. It's basically a slip stitched pattern. So I cast on, and as you can see, I ripped off, and I started knitting it. Uh, and it is a, you know, two by two rib or one by one rib at the cuff, at the cuff, at the brim. And while the, I think that pops of color like that lime green will look really good in the slip stitch pattern, it wasn't looking so great lining up on the, um, on the one by one rib. So, pulled that off the needles and looked around for another yarn. I found this, uh, I just found it, it magically appeared. Schaefer Yarns Nicole, which used to be my favorite, most favorite yarn. I would hunt high and low, go, I drove all the way to, we went to Vermont one weekend just so I could go to, what's the name of that yarn shop? Kaleidoscope Yarns? In something junction, like Essex Junction, White? So I don't know anyways, because they carried it, they were listed on the Schaefer site, so I could get a skein of it. I bought multiple skeins of the same colorways. I absolutely love them. So this one is, I didn't write down the colorway. Let me think for one second. I can't come up with it. Anyway, so this is Schaefer Nicole. Used to be one of my favorites. It is an 80-10-10. 80-10-10? No, I'm lying to you. I'm sorry, I shouldn't do that. It's an 80-20 nylon merino yarn. Just gloriously dyed. Gloriously dyed. And all the colors are inspired by famous women. Yeah, it doesn't say on here. And I lost the color tag for this. Anyways, I found this skein of yarn. Sorry. Wait. The nose needed blown. Um, I found this skein of yarn. And thought, oh, that could look really good too. Kind of subtle. So I cast on. And I like it a lot more. So this is using US size 2.25. It's a big size twos. <laughs> I think it's a 2.25. I'm 
and here's my one by one ribbing that I have so far. So the yellow does sort of pop out, but I, I'm okay with it. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. So this will be one of my um, knitting patterns from books projects. It's not an original yarn, obviously. And you know why I stopped hunting high and low for this? Because I realized other hand, there were other indie dyers out there that did not charge, I think it was like 30 or 32 a skein. Like this stuff is not, <laughs> sorry, Mac was doing this weird kicking on the floor. They are very much a part of the show today. Anyways, um, I realized I didn't need to spend this much for a 80-20 uh, yarn that was hand dyed. So, even though I do really like it, and it's close to, I, I would almost call it a sport. I know they classify it as a, they say seven and a half stitches on US twos. So, anyways, but it, they, beautiful yarns. Beautiful, 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 and I, I'm very careful with what I knit with them, and I do not part with them, and if I'm gonna, like you saw my, my mix up there, if I'm going to pay 30 bucks for a skein of yarn, it's going to have 10% cashmere in it. That's just how that's going to work for me. So, um, color affection. Oh my god, why do I have to have so many things on the needles? I'm not bringing it out. Um, but I did go down. I guess I do need to bring it out. Okay. Okay, color affection. Where'd you go? In my knitters for knockers bag. This is, oh, and in case you just got that total belly shot of my sweater, this is a cold sweater that, this is the last time I wear it. It's very pilly and warm. Worn. I did not knit this sweater. So, say goodbye to the sweater. <laughs> um, I did cast on, again, with size fours. And, because I'm all about keeping, you know, maybe I didn't keep it. <laughs> guess I didn't. I guess I frogged it completely. Um, my knitter's been on back. So, there's the start of my color affection, and I am doing it as the pattern recommends. No extra yarn overs on the edge. I like the way it curves around. If I could find a way to make it a little more shallow, I would like to do that. So I think that means I need to do increases more frequently, or do, or make it a smaller size shawl. I don't know. This doesn't have my full attention right now. Um, I'm more inspired to knit sweaters and patterns out of books and all the other things I've just shown you. Those are, I'm really gravitating more towards those and this requires a little bit of thinking, paying attention to where the increases are falling, even though I thought I found an easy way to do it, which is why there's an envelope in here. Don't go to see. Sick brain. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote this. A shorthand of what to do on each row down in there to make it easier on myself. So that's Sphere of Akamati, Bak Bal Balamaki, and <laughs> designed that pattern, the color affection, and that is in Miss Babs Yummy Sock Yarn using US size, I think they're four, fives. I wrote down fours, but I know that they're fives. I didn't, I couldn't find my fours, so I just used my fives. And that brings us to Dark and Stormy. So, we I have been hosting a cal over on the group. I think most people have finished that are going to finish, but if you are out there working on it, I know Calico Kitty and I can see your face on your rav, but I can't think of what the name of it is, what your name is. I know they're both working along on it. Um, the end date for the prize drawings are is february 28th so finish your sweater and post a picture on the uh fo thread and tag your projects dark skp1 dark knitting samurai plus one right um yeah so i have finished mine you want to see it let's just say let's start from the beginning here it is knit with yes i am stripping again allison <laughs> I used Cascade 220 Heathers in color 2424. And you can see my, my cable detail there. And you can see my massively huge collar, shawl collar. I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Blocking might save me. It might not. I don't know. So 
here it is and I'm sitting down I'm sorry you're not gonna get a good shot of it but can you already see where the problem is So I knit this massive shawl collar and I fussed and I moaned and complained about it the whole time and I figured out <coughs> oh, if I knit a row a day I'll have it done by the end of the knit along and it'll be fine and um, are you seeing my issue here? So I did all this custom shaping and I actually added, I did five buttonholes so the pattern says you put one right below your bust so that's where that one is and then I put an extra one up here for some unknown reason. I think it's because things are supposed to be in odd numbers and having four buttons didn't seem right to me. So I just did this extra fifth one and it'll probably just always be decorative and never be buttoned but I'm gonna put it on there. I've woven in some ends but not all. Clearly. Um, what else can I tell you about this? That you. So I think I did not follow the pattern appropriately. Let me just say, this is The Dark and Stormy by Thea Coleman. For a pay-for pattern, the directions, I personally found the directions to be very vague. That I was so thankful to have the knit along group and it's not like I'm an inexperienced knitter. There, I felt like there were points where it was just vague for the sake of being vague. I mean, you could clearly say, measure from this point to that point and put and do this. Instead, she would say things like, oh, measure three inches down and put a stitch marker and then adjust and see how that looks. Well, that's an, I, want, I don't want a recipe. I want instructions. I prefer clear, concise instructions. So coming off the Harvest Moon, where, sure, a lot of it by, uh, that one's by Heidi Caramere. Caramere? A lot of her instructions are in centimeters, but she's very clear about what you do when, and she has wonky not wonky, but unusual construction, and it still works, right? Uh, you just trust her and it works. So I was trying to do that with this, you know, more experienced designer, I'm hoping, and my shawl collar isn't right. So I, you do shawl, inc you do the short row shaping to a point, and I think I made my point too long, and so I have this bunch of fabric. So the sweater itself, if you like pulled out the shawl color would sit fine so I'm hoping blocking will fix it right because see I can make it lay flat versus this so one side to the other and maybe you can't even see that because it's dark but it has this wonky bit and to get it to lay flat I have to cover up quite a bit of this front the front little cable details which it's like well, why did I do that I don't know I am not thrilled with this sweater. I don't have my buttons yet. I'm thinking, I don't know if I should block it and then go into my LYS and talk with the, the owner there and get her opinions. Please give me your opinions if you have some great insights on how to make this lay flat. Um, yeah, other than that, because before the shawl collar went on, it did lay flat and it was fine and it looked fine from the front. I took lots of pictures and ran around the house in it and it was fine and then I do mile after mile after mile. I think I used almost an entire skein on, of yarn on the one by one rib of the button band slash shawl collar only to finish it and be like what? It's morphed my sweater into this extra fabric thing. So I don't know if I should block it before I go talk to her or t just take it in as is and let her look at it on me and see what she says. And if you have advice, please share it with me. So, <laughs> I'm happy to have a sweater, my second sweater of the year done and off my needles. And it's very warm and it's very comfortable. It fits perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, maybe I'd like the sleeves a little smidge longer, but I know I can block that out like a half an inch longer. It's nearly perfect, except for these bunches here. So I'm so hopeful that that can be fixed. When you can see it, even when it's sitting like this. See? Like, what is that about? I don't know. <sighs> Probably user error. I definitely user error. I know I didn't... I, didn't, I know exactly the point when I was like, what? What? Okay, from here to here? No. 
from here to here and it was my first interpretation that I think was correct. So, You built it. Do it. You think that will help? That being said, I am going to start another flyer immediately, just as soon as I can. I placed an order with Webs. I was super excited. Um, the His and Hers podcast group, Melissa is doing the PZ, also a Heidi Kermier, Kermier pattern. I need to get Steve to tell me how to say it. It's a French name. I'm pretty sure it's um, yeah, and I was trying to make something for my stash work for it, and nothing I was coming up with was going to work for it. And so last Friday, I ordered a sweater's worth of the uh, Valley Superwash DK in the rose color. Yeah, it doesn't say here. It was rose. So I ordered a sweater's worth of this. I cannot wait to cast on and start knitting that. I know Diane of Knittables is knitting it as well. It has the beautiful little lace detail right here. I'm going to make mine into a Henley, so I'll be knitting it flat until probably there, and then the rest of it will just be stocking out in the round, baby. So look forward to showing you that next week, because my needles are itching. I bound that off last, I bound off the dark and stormy last night and went to bed. So I'll be working on that today, tonight. I also got two skeins of just random skeins. I thought they'd make good hats or cowls. Um, Dream in Color Classy. This first skin is called Cloud Jungle. So this one, this yarn is 200 yards, 70, 20, 10, 70 merino, 20 cashmere, and 10 nylon. It has just a little bit of purple in it. So really like that, a gray with a little purple. And then this one is almost the same color as the Not Drinking Merlot. I know, I don't know, it's really pretty though. Uh, it's called Chocolate Night. That I did see beautiful goes really well with my with my purple winter coat so um i think that's all i have for you today i will record again probably march 1st thereabouts i think that's a friday saturday do the drawings for the dark and stormy and um yeah yeah that's it i hope you have a great 10 days or so until i see you again and enjoy what's going on in your knitting world take care bye